Welcome to FreshMaya.com. My name is Eric, and I'm going to help you get started with using Maya. When you first open up Maya, if you've never used a similar program before, it can look a little intimidating. Well, I'm going to try to explain everything to you in very simple terms. I'm not going to go into very much detail. I only want to give you the information needed to get you going with Maya as fast as possible. The most important thing I can start off with is going to be the help files. At the very top of your screen, you're going to see a menu bar. At the far left of your menu bar, you'll see File. Next to that, you'll see Edit, the Modify, Create. At the very far right, you'll see one called Help. So if you click on Help, a menu will pop up, and somewhere in that menu, you should see Maya Help. Go ahead and click on that. This is one way you can access Maya Help. At the far left, you'll see Contents, Index, and Search. Search is probably going to be a good way for you to start using Maya. We're going to go over the user interface in this video. So let's go ahead and type in user interface in this search field right there. And then I'm going to click on this search button to the far left, or I'm sorry, to the right of that search field. And right below it you'll see a bunch of information pop up and you can just click on those and it will pull up various information over here on the right side. So I can look down through here and there's one called the Maya interface which is basically what we're going to be going over. So let this search let these search files or not search files these help files become your best friend because pretty much any question you have about Maya you can pretty much find in these help files. Now, if you can't access the help files through your Maya, Maya software, you can do it through the internet. So let's, I'm going to open up the internet just to show you. I'm going to go to www.autodesk.com. Up here towards the upper left, there is products. And if you mouse over products, just put your cursor over products. You'll see a list pop up. Go down the list and click on Autodesk Maya. About halfway down, you will see documentation, a link. So I'm just going to click on documentation. And then again, about halfway down, you'll see the online help documentation. So right now, there's 2009, 2010, and 2011 help. So I'm using Maya 2009, so I'm just going to click on this Maya 2009 help link. And you'll see that it will open up the same help files that it did when I opened it through my Maya software. And there it is. So get used to using these files. It will come in very handy uh, through your journey of learning how to use Maya. All right, I'm going to close all this out and go back into Maya. Let's start talking about what different areas of your screen are called. It's important to know what they're called because as you're going through tutorials, people might refer to the shelf or they might refer to the channel box or the layer editor, and it's important for you to know what area of your screen they are referring to. All right, we already mentioned the menu bar, which is up here at the very top. Now your menu bar might have some uh, some menus that are a little different than mine. It depends on what version of Maya you have, and it also depends on what you have selected in this drop-down box. These are your menu sets. So as you click on different options in this drop-down box, these menu sets, whatever menu set you have selected, it determines what is shown up here on your menu bar. Okay, to the right of this drop-down box, everything on this line is called your status line. Underneath your status line, you'll see some tabs. This is your shelf. All this information on the shelf is basically what's up in the menus, on your menu bar. It's just a way for you to access them a little, a little bit quicker and a little bit easier. Okay, below that you'll see a what's called a view panel. 
basically you're looking through a virtual camera into this 3D space. At above that, your view panel has a menu bar. Underneath that is a toolbar. To the left of your view panel is called a toolbox. The upper half of your toolbox are some manipulation tools for manipulating the objects in your scene or your 3D workspace. The lower half of the toolbox are some quick layout buttons. Right now the top one is selected, which is our perspective view. There's actually four cameras that are hidden that you can look through. So right now we're looking through a camera that gives us a perspective view. Over here in the toolbox, the second button down on the, on the bottom half, if we click that, it opens up four view panels. And each view panel is looking through a different camera. So we have a top view, we have a front view, we have a side view, and of course we have our perspective view. So if we go back in our toolbox and click on the top button on the bottom half, it will go back to our perspective view. Okay, to the right side of our view panel is our channel box and layer editor. Now if you don't see this, at your, on your status, your status line at the very top of your screen, the very, very far rightmost icon, if you click that, it will open and close your channel box and layer editor. The upper half of this is called the channel box, and the lower section of this is called the layer editor. Okay, underneath your view panel, you're going to see a time slider. This is used for animation. Underneath that, you'll see a range slider. Underneath that, you'll see some command lines. And underneath that, at the very bottom, you will see a help line. Now, your help line will display information depending on where your cursor is and what you're doing in Maya. So you'll see a lot of useful information down there on your help, on your help line. Over here, right underneath the layer editor, you'll see some uh, like play and stop buttons. So basically some playback buttons. All right, let's go over that one more time. The very top of your screen, now everything you see on your screen is called the Maya UI, user interface. All right, the very top of your interface is your menu bar. Underneath that is your status line. The very far right of the status line is toggles your channel box open and, and close. The very far left of your status line is a drop down box so you can change your menu sets. Underneath your status line is your shelf. And again, all this information on your shelf is basically just various information that can be found in your in the menus of your menu bar. All right, underneath your shelf is your view panel. Your view panel also has a menu bar. Underneath that is the view panel's toolbar. To the left of your view panel is your toolbox. The upper section of your toolbox are some manipulation tools. The lower half are some quick layout buttons. The right side of your view panel is your channel box and your layer editor. Underneath your view panel is a time slider, a range slider, some command lines, and a help line. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.